Hi there Royal, so blessed to have you here once again. My name is Sian Lokin and today I'll be sharing with you three ways that you can cook your Tom Brown porridge. If you were to start with, I'll be sharing three ways that you can mix your Tom Brown powder. So the first method is just for you to um, mix the powder with water using your whisk. This is very very fast and it makes sure that all the crashes or the lumps and you know gives you a very smooth mixture. I have already shared a tutorial on how to make the Tom Brown, Tom Brown powder. This is a mixture of grains and cereals that has been roasted and milled to get this flour or this powder. Yes, so you can check on that. I'll leave the link to that in my description box. Now, the second one that I tried was to sieve the Tom Brown. This it was too small, so <laughs> I changed it to a bigger one. Was to sieve the Tom Brown and then added water so this method is if you do not have a whisk at, at your at your disposal and you want to use your spoon you can try and sieve it first to before you mix it with water nice now the third one you can add sugar um, to it i will really recommend that when you put the sugar mix the sugar with the flour before you add butter i didn't do it like that but it makes it very easy to mix adding sugar to it especially if you are going to add sugar to your tom brown when you are done and this even helps um you know sometimes when you are done with your tom brown and it's cooked before you add sugar and keep stirring it becomes watery but when you do it this way you are able to prevent that from happening so the first method is the microwave method so after you mix your tom brown you put it in the microwave you give it one minute um i'll stop after one minute <laughs> yeah and then i would whisk it before i put it in the oven again sorry in the microwave again <laughs> so i'll give it another one minute and then stir it with a whisk again no it's it, as you can see it's already thickening so yeah this is this is just one of the ways that you can prepare your tom brown and this is quick and very fast <laughs> we're in a hurry and sometimes maybe we're out of gas or something yeah so i'll just put it in there now for the final round like another one minute so in all it took three minutes to to get the tom brown done in the microwave So this after the third minute in the microwave, this is how it looks nice and smooth. There are no lumps in the tom brown. And yeah, <laughs> that is one method. Now the second method is to mix the tom brown directly in the saucepan that you are using it to cook with water. And then you stir it. So you can use any of the method that I showed earlier. In terms of mixing it you can mix it with sugar before you mix it with your water however now I'm, I'm adding some salt and then um, I'll introduce heat so yeah if you are using the stove you just put it on your stove after mixing it with water you just put it on your stove and then stir continuously until it becomes thick if you don't stir continuously it may become lumpy so yeah and then once it's thick you can add water you can add water to you get the the um how do you call it <laughs> the consistency or the thickness that you want so once you get a thickness that you want you just let it boil for a while and then that is it 
paper once it's it boils at the consistency you like then you can serve when you are not ready to eat your tomboy immediately you sprinkle water over it to prevent the surface from becoming hard and then you can use your cling film to cover it, it keeps, this keeps it warm now the third method is to add the tom brown mix to boiling water this is one of <laughs> boiling water so um, after you've mixed your stuff add it and then you keep you know consistently stirring while you add it this is also very quick you know when you put your water on fire and then you start mixing your tom brown by the time you finish mixing your tom brown the water has boiled then you put your stuff in and very fast yeah yeah you are done preparing your tom brown tom brown is um you know very nutritious food especially for babies in ghana tom brown is one of the first foods that is being introduced to baby when um they start eating solids yeah because it's very nutritious but adults also enjoy tom brown as well and you can have it with milk and add your sugar it's best if you add the sugar on fire if i'm doing it for myself alone i prefer to add sugar on fire so that it does not become more true when you stay but sometimes you're not cooking for just yourself other people are going to eat and you can decide you know the amount of sugar for them so thank you once again for joining me royals god bless you for your subscriptions and please don't forget to smash the like button stay blessed and stay safe